Hey everybody, this is Mr. Crafting. Today I'm going to be talking about a new meta for Asta. This is going to be a multiversal Asta meta. And in no way, shape, or form did I am making this video because uh, some other person made a video about another multiversal meta for another character. There's no correlation between these two whatsoever. I, there's no, I don't even know why you're thinking about that. Anyway, so this video, yes, you heard it right. You read the title right. There's a multiversal meta. Not that long ago, I made a video talking about a universal meta for also which i think now after learning more stuff i could have done better on that video but hey whatever i've done a lot of research on this video i literally read a lot of art scientific articles i even emailed a few professors just to make sure i was understanding it right and i think i'm bringing you guys a very foolproof and very hard if not impossible to debunk meta for multiversal Asta, and well, yeah. Let's get into it. So the meat, the real meat of this meta, actually all goes back to Lil Fanama, the first and the weakest of the supreme or cliff off devils that we see. Now, what's very important about them is when they pop up, right? Noct is like kind of fighting them at first. Well, by fighting, he's getting absolute toy. You know, they're not even buying an item. They're literally making fun of him, right? You know, he's you know, getting fucked over, right? So, you know, he comes to terms like, hey, uh, I'll die for, you know, this is I gotta pure, pure my atones for my sins. Yeah, 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 right? Regardless of why he does it, he does a double devil union. It was a Gallus X. I'm not pronouncing that right. Whatever, right? Anyway, um, so he says he can create a spell that's on the level of the Supreme Devil, and it's called Monument of Atonement. It creates this, like, realm or this prison, and it's stated, and uh, it's also kind of in fear that he would also be stuck in there with them, because he says, now you and me can play an in a game of infinite tag for each other, something like that. Anyway, so this realm is stated, this prison, right, is stated to ha be no light, life, or death can exist and this is not a physical realm right so it's like completely made of shadows right that's kind of what it is right now what's important is well by them just casually flexing their magic right their um just their magic type just them like letting it out just like flexing it, just let it pour out it destroys the entire place literally just like they fro knocked out of it that's how what they and they're not forming this into any attack they're just like you know releasing their like energy right they're just releasing their magic and it, it destroyed the entire place now destroying a place where no light left light life or death may seem like a pretty high in terms of thing but where do you scale that well the good thing is i'm not learning about that i'm trying to learn about where the what nox says right after this <clears throat> nox was said that they were destroying light and shadows itself the invisible concepts of them so and i'm pointing the screen up now they even say like they can burn away everything and freeze everything right anyway so what's important is the fact that they said even shadows and light and even invisible concepts they are burning they're burning burning it itself so what's so important about that well if you didn't know light is well a fifth dimensional construct and if you guys know being fifth dimensional would make you low complex multiversal now i bet a bunch of you guys are like hold up what'd you just say and yes light is a fifth dimensional construct and i will be going over the thing now this is what i was talking about i read so many articles about this talking about the fifth dimension what it comes from what resides within it what is a fifth dimensional construct by means and we're in the theory well first originates from anyway uh so the creator of the theory was called Kluzar, uh and it was made it was made by Kluzar and some other scientists that's not important enough to mention and regardless uh they they kellen kellen and Kluzar. there we go that's their both names sorry I had to see if i could read over that anyway kellen Kluzar made the theory in 1969 hold up Anyway, uh, so the theory, they theorize that in the fifth dimension, light and electromagnetic energy comes from the fifth dimension. At the time, it was disregarded because they were the ways of them proving it was not like as good. But later down the line, even Einstein's theories of relativity also support the fifth dimension as well as nowadays modern, almost 100 years later, modern day scientists actually went back and looked into their clues. It's 
called the Kluzar Kellen theory, right? Anyway, the one back to look into the theory of the, you know, and like prove it is like actually the reason why we have the string theory nowadays, which contains at bare minimum 10 to 11 dimensions, right? We know there most likely there could be anywhere from like at bare minimum 6 to 10, but like there could even be infinite amount of dimensions, but we know there's at, there's at least 10 dimensions, right? So what I was saying about that, so actually one of the reasons why we have the modern day string theory actually is because they actually proved the fifth dimension by going back to their Kluzar and Kellen's old original studies and actually using modern day science to prove it. The way they use to prove higher dimensions is they use, it's this machine, Um, I'm pretty sure it's called the LGT, it like, pr it like scans like higher like dimensionary activity or like ripples anyway um and that's how they prove higher dimensions so yes even now modern day scientists do agree and support the fifth dimension as well as even einstein's own theories did support it now what's important about this that light occurs and it is of the fifth dimension so what if you're wondering wait a minute so you're saying when i see light am i seeing the am i am i is fuck is sorry about that <laughs> is my comprehension level on the same level as fifth dimension. No, what you are seeing is the ripples. It is a um, pretty good explanation they use. It's like an analogy. It's something about, I'm not gonna go over it because I didn't write down my notes, but like it's, it says something about like, basically, um, I'll just summarize it. So imagine you're underneath the water. You're a pool, you're underneath the water, you're a fish, right? So when you look up, you see the ripples of the water. So I'm making a splash. That is what we're seeing. The ripples is the light. The light we see is the clash of electromagnetic energy, and what we see is the is the only thing what our brain can comprehend, which is light. And the absence of that is shadows, which is the like aftermath, like the before math, I guess you could say. Anyway, so yes, light occurs and is of the fifth dimension. It's the construct of a fifth dimensional. It's like saying if you destroyed a the construct of time, space, time, space, whatever, you would be 4D universal plus. It's the same thing. Destroying the construct or concept of light would be fifth dimensional. Now, I know some people might try to s do some debunks. I've talked to some people and they try to do some debunks, but here's another thing. So they actually go into better like discussion. So the fifth dimension is, well, it contains, it is electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic energy that's like what we see and if you didn't know electromagnetic energy is literally light light is literally electromagnetic energy so if you want to say oh light isn't you know the main thing they're talking about electromagnetic energy and the theory well guess what light is lit electromagnetic energy is literally a fancy word for light so that's that debunk, you know, slapped out of your face. If you just wanted to know that, if you're going to say, oh, wait, uh, actually, it, it means electromagnetic energy is the fifth dimensional part. Light's just the byproduct. Well, light is literally electromagnetic energy. So it's the same thing. I don't know. I'm, it's just a fancy word for it. And yeah, that's kind of going over the meta. So these two, by just casually like flexing their magic, right? Their mana, whatever, right? Just, you know, absolutely destroyed the entire realm as well as carried on by saying they're even destroying shadows and light invisible concepts now some people are going to might say in the comic section though he's being hyperbolic okay but why would he i'm gonna go over the reasons why he wouldn't okay one noct is not a hyperbolic person especially towards devils the enemy why would he want to be hyperbolic and hype up the enemy he's also his magic is shadow magic and his brother Morgan, which translates to, which is like, a, sorry, it's like it's German for morning. I'm pretty sure it's German. It's or one of the languages, right? So most likely he would have light magic. It's not confirmed, but we do know he has shadow magic. So he, if everyone, he would know what's going on. And if you're gonna say, oh, them destroying the monument of atonement shadows is just them destroying the magic, the actual like physical shadows which one he doesn't really say that when he says he's they're destroying shadows and light is referring to the fact that they're destroying it outside the monument of atonement but if you do go with that well one it was it's been stated in verse and out of verse that magic rip it mimics all physical properties of the real life elements so i mean shadow magic has the same real life properties of 
shadows in real life, mean if you could destroy the construct of shadow magic, you're also destroying the constructs of shadow by, via, if vice versa, destroy the construct of light magic, you are destroying the construct of light, fifth dimensional. Now, I'm not saying if you just punch a, someone shoots a light blast at you and you punch it, you're fifth dimensional, you have to be stayed to destroy the very concept or construct of it. But, like, in regardless, um, and another debunk, someone's going to say, oh, they're just using a hack, which, okay, one, they're not even using the ability. They're just casually releasing their energy, their, mo- their like, mana, their magic, and it's destroying it. It's kind of like if you, you say, one, Ichigo, destroy that one dimension that one fighting against Ginjo in the, like, Fullbringer arc when he just won Bankai, right? So, oh, that's a hack, you know, but no, he just was powering up and he did it, right? Well, these guys are literally just letting out they're doing the same thing they're letting out their magic powering up and it did the exact same thing so like it's not a uh it's so it's not a hack and let's give you the benefit of the doubt let's say they're just magic by itself is a hack right well that still doesn't matter because asta casually well one cuts through the magic reflects the magic as well as completely destroy it with, you know, when he slashes it. So that would mean it doesn't matter. He would still scale to that AP. And I bet you guys are wondering why that was scaled to him since it's anti-magic. Well, it stated very early on the show, or verse, whatever, read it, watch it, I don't care, right? It, to be able to, uh, like, knock, like, for example, reflect magic or cut through this, the magic, right? You need the force to back it up. Because anti-magic isn't like mana where it instantly amps you. You have to be physically strong enough to knock it back, as shown with Patri when he was using his divine or ray atonement, whatever, that one thing, right? Also, it's like, oh, if I sling my sword at it, then it will reflect it. Then Yami said, nah, you're not strong enough. The only thing we left is the swords. You're probably going to die. And, you know, that's been constant throughout the entire series. You know, even when he refights Patri in his demon light form, when he did choose the demon's light ray of atonement, Asta was able to reflect it, but just barely since he wasn't physically strong enough to completely knock it back. He even still needed help from Yuno. So, yes, you need the force to back it up. So even if we say this is their hack, well, then we... Uh, it doesn't scale to Asta. It still scales to Asta because he can casually cut through the magic and reflect it as shown even with the big sl- freezing sun they make and he casually cuts through it like it's butter after he reflects it. So it still scales to Asta's AP. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's going over all of the like meta. Now I'm going to go over just like a quick power scaling how this would scale to current Devil Union Asta. All right, now, like I said, going over this, like, you know, just going as quick over going, like, now we have this medicine where Asta scales. So we know that, you know, Lofanama could casually destroy these fifth dimensional constructs and making them, you know, low complex multiversal. Now it was stayed by Noct. Once they fuse, it was more than their power just, pow- like, you know, adding. So we have to assume they add their power, then times it by two. Meaning Lofanama should be able to outpoint 1.130 times 10 to the 96 joules of energy low complex real quick if you're wondering where i came up with that number so to be multiversal you have to be able to create or destroy or affect a thousand and one separate different universes now being low complex multiverse and i just and just so you know what if you times the universal output by 1001 you get like 2.250 56 times 10 to the 95 joules of energy now real quick if you're wondering why there's no really way that i could think to quantify will find out what low complex multiversal is so basically i just grabbed the like i I just grabbed the like multiversal output that i found and just slapped low complex at the end of it and the reason why i do this is if i'm ever comparing two characters that are in the low complex realm i want to know where they scale so i quantify them by doing this anyway just had to go over that real quick it's been quite a while since i talked about characters that could get up to low complex multiversal or any type of multiversal in a while so i thought might as well just re re go over it real quick Anyway, so as I was saying, right, uh, so that would be fused little phenomena also casually one-shots them, making him at least 7.5 times stronger than them, making him and just that version of Devil Union able to output 8.475 times 10 to the 96 joules of energy low complex. 
And we know Lucifero is the strong supreme cliff off devil, whatever you want to call it. And if we know there's at least 10 cliff off devils. So if we assume he's 10 times stronger than the rest, that would make his base output 8.475 times 10 to the 97 joules energy low complex. And we know he has his full power state where we assume he just gets at least two times stronger than he should be able to output 1.695 times 10 to the 98 joules energy low complex. Now, then we know Asta, you know, fully unites with Libe. They, you know, accept each other. They become real homies, right? And then they unlock their true devil union, which they are casually able to one shot Lucifero in less than five seconds and kill him in less than five seconds. Basically, kill him, right? And just in like five seconds, making them at least 7.5 times stronger and able to outpoint 1.271 times 10 to the 99 joules energy low complex. And that's gonna like kind of wrap it up for this video. And I hope this like gets out there. You know, if you know some of you guys can believe in some other multiversal arguments for different characters, and I feel like this is really good. I don't know how some of y'all are gonna deb debunk this. I really want to hear some of them, maybe. I'm overlooking something I don't know and I want to know your thoughts on this and like it's just really nice to see like my favorite verse actually getting higher in the scale if you want to know where these guys like you know scale among well I'd probably put like you know I guess now this version of true devil unit also he's probably able to square up against maybe a super saiyan god Goku maybe super saiyan 3 depending on like uh where I'm it's been a while since I looked at my notes for Goku but like I remember I had him at a little complex multiversal due to like how he scales above Jiren and you, you guys go watch that video I know it's pretty crappy edited it's from a while ago but like um any and, and like he would scale above a majority of the big three not Ichigo he's just higher in low complex multiversal but everyone else he would destroy you know Deku Naruto Luffy Tanjiro you know all of them he would most likely destroy and a lot of other like anime verses even some other verses he would scale up to that aren't even anime related anyway and um yeah I hope you guys like this this was a long time video in the making i've been actually preparing it for a few months now i've been going over the stuff i just wanted to wait till i got at least 150 subs so if you get even more out there than like my universal Asta videos i really wanted to get out there anyway uh that's all like comment and sub and yeah and don't forget to join the discord the link in the description anyway that's all mr crafty out Let's <laughs> go.